She's making all of this up. And what happened to believing the victim? That only works if she is the victim. So Andy is still insisting that he did this. He's hazy on the details. But it's still a mandatory arrest. So she gets to go home as if she did nothing wrong. Maybe not. Garland, talk to Charlie. Diana gave her statement. She'd like to get home to her son. Well, just a few things to clarify, if you don't mind. Now, Diana, while all this was happening, where was Charlie? In his room, doing homework. Did he ever come out of his room? Maybe after he heard yelling? Counselor, please don't drag the boy into this. Did Charlie see you get cut, Diana? What? No, of course not. Why, did he say something? I'm sure they wouldn't talk to your child without a parent present. What do you think Charlie might have said, Diana? I don't know. But I do know that he saw police come and that he's worried about his dad. He wants to protect him. My client is a victim. So unless this is now a custodial situation... It's not custodial. But your client is now the target of our investigation. She might want to get ahead of that. There's nothing to get ahead of. Whatever's going on here, it's a private matter. It's not a criminal one. I was 